Hello, and welcome to our latest presentation in our Travel Agent Learning Library. Today, we're going to learn what's new for 2021. It is my pleasure to be here. My name is Glenn Lech. I'm the National Accounts Manager. I'm responsible for our Travel Agent Program. Very proud of what we've been able to accomplish in a fairly short time, joining uh, both VBT and Country Walkers together and uh, one unified program. Uh, we launched that in April of 2018, uh, watched uh, some very positive growth over the first two years of that, including uh, 2020. Uh, but as we all know, 2020 has been severely interrupted uh, for all of our businesses, and uh, we're hoping to all get back on track for 2021. And if all things go the way everyone is uh, hoping they will, uh, 2021 just may be that banner year that we all are looking for and we need. Um, my experience is over 30 years in the travel industry. I've previously owned travel agency. I've uh, been involved in several aspects, including travel technology, uh, hotel management. So I've uh, seen the business um, in many different ways. Uh, one thing I really, really love about our product is it's very fun and it's very unique. So I enjoy talking about it. I enjoy experiencing our product. The picture shown here is our bike and boat uh, tour that I did in uh, Holland and Belgium. Phenomenal. We had a wonderful group of 21 people on that tour. Excellent guides and just uh, beautiful settings uh, each and every day. Um, I'm here to help you grow your business uh, or maybe even introduce you to our products uh, if you've never really focused in on selling that. Um, and I'll provide my contact information again towards the end of the presentation. So today we're going to cover uh, what's new for both VBT and Country Walkers. I'm going to talk a little bit about our COVID-19 safe travel procedures. We're going to talk about some of our relaxed booking policies that have been instituted to help uh, your clients and yourself. Uh, we'll talk uh, briefly about air packages, some promotions we have going on, and then some contacts. And I'll show you how our digital catalogs work so that uh, you may feel that's the best way to communicate and uh, get this information to your clients in a quick and safe manner. So we are part of the Zantera Travel Collection, well-known brands to you, such as Windstar Cruises, Grand Canyon Railway and Hotel, uh, Holiday Vacations, the Oasis at Death Valley, as well as uh, the management of uh, many, many park lodges. So um, what's really nice, though, we're run as our own company under the Zantera Travel Collection, and our offices in Vermont although we have staff located around the world. Um, we only do active travel, so we're not here to promote anything other than uh, travel via walking or bicycle. We're not doing all-inclusives on the beach. We're not doing ocean cruises. Um, everything that we do is designed to be very active, very immersive, and very off the beaten path. Uh, we have a wonderful staff. I'm always proud to say I've worked with um, in the eight plus years I've been with the company, I've worked with many of the same people that uh, have just constantly developed these great tours that we then can uh, promote and uh, experience at times. And of course your clients can uh, get out. Um, what your clients will probably rave about when they come back is our wonderful local guides and leaders. So they're it's fairly unique in our industry. Uh, to some of our competitors who don't quite do it the same way. Um, we pride ourselves uh, when you go, say you go to Italy, you're going to have uh, people that uh, reside there, have grown up there, and so forth. So it really uh, adds a lot. Um, we are a proud member of the USTOA. Um, 2020 has really, really uh, taught me a little bit more of the importance of this organization. Um, each and every day they update, they have uh, both lobbyists and also um, contacts throughout Washington. So you get all the latest government information as it relates to our businesses, travel, the economy, et cetera. And then they did this great thing over the last couple of months and they've joined forces with uh, Canada and Europe 
and created this Tour Cares program, which is a set of standards for tour operators to utilize um, with regards to the COVID-19 crisis. Um, we'll touch a little bit more on that uh, in uh, another slide, but I just wanted to point out that TC, if you see that, um, that's what it means. So for VBT bicycling, uh, as a company, we do more tours via bicycle than any other style of travel. Um, we have a great lineup of tours. Most of what we offer, uh, we range in an easy to moderate setting. Um, obviously, you know, within that, there will be people that will be challenged more or less. Um, but we uh, definitely have ways that uh, even someone that isn't really a super avid cyclist, um, just really a casual cyclist can go on and enjoy their tours. So the three styles that we'll operate with in 2021 is our traditional guided bike tour. Now we are celebrating our 50th year um, in 2021. So we've been doing this a long time. One thing we are not gonna do is stray too far for what, from what we've done over our history. So our traditional guided biking experience is uh, done in a small group setting, so no more than 20 people on a tour. Uh, you will also uh, have two leaders. So those are those local leaders that I talked about, and they will take care of all of the needs of the guests. Uh, one will always be on a bike during the, the riding and one will be in a support vehicle ready uh, and willing to assist with um, any guests that's maybe having trouble or wants to skip you know, part of a day or part of a ride, they could do so. Uh, we moved that same concept over to our guided bike and boat. So we have our barge tours. So picture a floating bed and breakfast uh, where you're residing, pack and unpack once, uh, on board and uh, you'll be spending several nights you pull to port and you get off and there's your wonderful bike tour that's very traditional to our our vbt guided bike experience um, we also have a bike and river cruise which is partnered with emerald waterways extremely popular um, you get a full emerald river cruise but uh, you come to port and there's again that great BBT cycling experience that um, you could do. So uh, as other guests that are on the river cruise are heading off doing their own uh, plans, shore excursions offered by Emerald, um, our bikes, our leaders, our support vehicle is ready to take uh, those guests out in a whole different way. Um, very popular and we do have a separate webinar that goes in depth on our waterways program and that includes our great product director, Chaba, who uh, resides in Hungary, who uh, is passionate about that particular style of travel. Uh, we then move on to a tour style we op offered or introduced here in 2020, which was our self-guided biking. So we found a need. We found people that really enjoy what we do, uh, but they maybe want to do things uh, a little bit more on their own as opposed to part of a group. Now we foresee that for 2021, uh, that will probably be a fairly popular way to go. We have people that have uh, created their own small bubbles in a way, so they may want to travel with either just their, their normal traveling companion spouse or maybe a few friends getting together as opposed to the larger group. Um, we'll talk about some of the new great destinations we've added and some of the things that we are uh, continuing to add uh, as we go along. So what do you get when you go on a guided tour, those great local leaders? You get the VBT equipment. So we use Fuji bikes primarily. We offer a choice of a hybrid, so that's an upright position, upright handlebars, very comfortable custom uh, type of bike that we use in our fleet. Um, we use, we have the option and many tours to have a road bike, so that's uh, more for an avid cyclist, a uh, little lighter weight, handlebars down, more of a down position. And then we have our extremely popular e-bike or electronic assist bike, and what that does, it allows uh, a lot of people to take our tours that never would have imagined taking them. 
it's allowed folks with different um, abilities to ride together much more easy. And it's also extended the career and brought back previous BBT guests that maybe um, the regular bikes were just getting a little too much to go on vacation and and utilizing uh, you know day after day on a week long type of trip. So the e-bikes uh, actually provided an opportunity for them to um, come back or extend their career with us. Um, we do have uh, other trainings that go a little bit more in depth on e-bikes, but I highly recommend them if you have guests that um, that again aren't uh, typically on a cycle, you know, each most days of their life. Um, we do some wonderful lodging, so all of our lodging is very unique, uh, boutique style, four starish. Uh, uh, pretty much four star, you might run into some five stars. You might occasionally have a three star, but we're utilizing it because it's in a great position for where we want to ride. Um, they're all well vetted. Uh, the group stays as a group. The leaders are right there with them as well. And um, when we do include our meals, uh, roughly half of the lunches and dinners are going to be included as a group, the other independently. And then we always include breakfast on any hotel stay that you have with us. So whether that's part of the tour or part of our air package or extensions, uh, breakfast will always be included. Uh, we get off the bike quite often, usually each and every day within uh, the ride, there's some sort of other experience. So that could be something as simple as a, uh, as a scenic overlook, or it could be a cooking class, it could be a museum, it could be a cultural stop a way to learn about uh, more about the local area that you're traveling to. Um, there's a lot of unexpected surprises that come about uh, because we are uh, taking a window seat to the world here and we're uh, exploring off the beaten path. So you never know what you're gonna find either on the bike or off the bike uh, to keep and uh, enhance that vacation experience. Uh, mentioned earlier, we provide support. So anybody that uh, goes on our tour, a guided tour, will have a vehicle at their disposal to uh, help them if they either aren't feeling it for either part of the ride or they want to, you know, know that maybe they're good for half of the day but not the full day of cycling. Uh, they can uh, manage it by using the support vehicle also rolls into action quickly should there be any sort of incident on the road and uh, they can safely remove the rider and uh, the bike from harm's way. Uh, we do also like to point out we offer 24 seven travel support on any product. So whether someone takes their travel insurance with us or through your preferred insurance provider, uh, if they get stuck on the way, if there's a misconnect, if there's a delay, if there's a canceled flight, if anything that could go on, they call one number and it springs our team into action and uh, they'll be well taken care of. As a travel agent, you can relax a little bit because uh, chances are if we provide that, they'll call us and they're not calling you and uh, we're able to, again, then manage what their, what their needs are and get them on the way. So with self-guided, uh, it's a much more independent experience. It has many of the same components as a guided tour. Uh, we do have support, but it's in the form of uh, background support. So there's not going to be a leader out riding along with the self-guided guests. There's not going to be a support vehicle that's riding along with the self-guided guests. They're going to get an orientation from our staff, um, typically within the first day of arriving before they really get going on the bikes. They'll get a briefing on some of those small repairs that they'll have to do because uh, it will require them to change a tire should a tire go flat or put a chain back on. Obviously, anything major happens to the, the bike, um, they may uh, they can call in that 24-7 support and uh, they will take care of that issue. Uh, we have the same great bikes, so they could, uh, again, on most cases, get a variety of, of the hybrid, the road, or the popular e-bike. Um, probably the one thing with e-bike I'd point out there is they would uh, be instructed how to charge the battery. It removes very easy. 
with a key and uh, they bring it into their hotel room, charge it up and then uh, plug it in the next day on the bike and they pedal away. And when it feels that they're tired, they're going to um, get that motor engaged and they keep pedaling, but it's going to make it a lot easier for them. Uh, we have some very unique lodging, very similar to our traditional VBT guided tours. Uh, I always, again, like to say you'll remember where you stay. Uh, fewer meals, uh, really not too many meals uh, included other than breakfast. Um, we do provide this great road book, so it's going to have different advice of where to dine and, and other uh, points of interest along the way. Um, we uh, and that's customized for your guest, uh, and uh, we also use this great ride with GPS technology. So that plugs into your phone. It's an app, and we use it on guided as well. And um, what it does is each day it has all the routes that are already uh, laid out in there. So all the guest needs to do is hit a button when they're ready to start that ride, and it will take them turn by turn. And um, what's really nice about it, it uses no data. So no matter where they are in the world, no data is being used on the ride, just GPS. So they can even, you know, can turn their phone to really just uh, a mode where it's just pulling the GPS. Um, you can share the ride. So when you're done, if you want to let people know what you've been up to, whether they're friends or family at home, Facebook, uh, any way you want to share that, you can do that. And you can also save a copy of that ride so that anytime you go to the Ride with GPS app, you're able to see um, exactly you know, where you've been and how the week went. And uh, that can go on as long as you want to store it in, in the app. So now we'll get to where we're heading in 2021. So the green is where we operate under uh, regular times here. Um, obviously for 2020, we had many tours that we were able to get off in our what quote unquote exotics or warm winter locations. But come mid-March, we had uh, called everybody back in from the road and uh, we, again, looking forward to 2021, really getting back out there and um, getting into uh, not only the, the places that we've gone to and plan to go to this year, and, um, but we've developed several new tours for 2021. So big question that I get from travel agents right now is where do you go domestically? We know that with current travel restrictions and what could extend, you know, we, there's no expiration date on it. We know that there'll be interest in domestic tours. We just think people will uh, want to stay a little bit closer to home uh, in a way. So what we've done is we've added from our uh, domestic tour count that we already have, which is some great destinations around, um, around the United States, we've uh, gone and developed four new United States guided tours, uh, Colorado, Utah, Maryland, and Wyoming. And uh, we've added some uh, in-development self-guided offerings in Maine, California wine country, and Vermont. So we've uh, kind of met that call for domestic tours. Um, the one thing I will note on this particular slide, um, we did change our Florida tour, and it's Georgia and Florida now. So it starts in Jekyll Island and then ends up in uh, over in Florida. and. Uh, a lot of good history there. Um, for international, we had planned, uh, keeping in mind we plan these two years out and we plan and hope that everything will operate as we have laid it out. Uh, we have a wonderful new Greece tour, uh, Spain and Portugal coastal Camino. So we're taking the Camino from a different angle than our walking tours do. Uh, a Switzerland and France tour uh, just looks wonderful, uh, beautiful, beautiful scenery. And then uh, that new offering uh, for uh, the river cruise with Emerald, uh, we think will be a hit as well. Um, and then our planned offerings that we added for 2021 self-guided, uh, head to some of the areas that we typically have operated in a group way. 
and now we're able to offer self-guided as an additional option for people. So um, those great tried and true type of places that we, uh, you know, people want to go. They want to go to Ireland. They want to go to Italy. They want to go to Holland, Croatia, France. Um, now they're able to either choose one of our great guided tours or if they really want to do things uh, in a smaller way, more independent, they can choose that self-guided uh, option. So one thing we've done uh, this week is our new catalogs are out. So they're available to order online and they're also available in a digital form which I think is a great way to go. I'm gonna show you a little bit towards the end of the presentation how those work. Um, but here's a snapshot from those catalogs of our new offerings for Guided. Um, just some great pictures uh, in the catalog itself. It will have the, a map, daily itinerary, as well as pricing. And um, what I think you'll find with BBT pricing is it just is absolutely phenomenal compared to some of our competitors. Um, often you can package up our tour as well as our air package and extensions uh, and still be lower than one of our leading competitors back roads. So um, you get all that, you get a lot less from back roads, you get a lot more from us and the price uh, might be the same or even less. So um, I will say, you know, definitely take a look at these new tours again, and we have some wonderful tours that um, aren't new to the lineup, but are phenomenal. And here's our new tours in the making domestically. Um, because they were developed a little bit later than our planned tours, uh, we will offer these up for sale starting September 29th. So roughly a month from now, they'll be available. And uh, we think we've got some hits here. What's really nice, if you look at the lay of the land on these, um, there's something in uh, regionally for many different regions of the country. So if someone is not keen on air travel, uh, they have many options where they could drive into these uh, tours. And um, as you can see, they're all perfect with five nights, six days, so they fit perfectly into you know a week away. For self-guided, uh, as we mentioned, we have eight new tours, three domestic, as well as the five international tours. As I was reading through these, uh, it just makes you yearn to get back out there. For someone that loves travel, it definitely is, uh, is uh, seeing these pictures, seeing these tour itineraries really makes you want to go. So we're going to shift over to country walkers for 2021. Um, we have three styles of country walkers tours. So we've been doing these tours now for, uh, in 2021, it will be our 42nd year uh, running our, what we would consider our traditional walking tour, which is our guided full uh, label for next year. Um, these are fairly inclusive, so they're usually going to include everything on tour except for maybe one dinner, perhaps a dinner and a lunch, but fairly inclusive otherwise. Uh, you're also going to have um, little extras such as wine and beer throughout dinner, and we really like to use some nice local wines, part of the whole end of the day social socialization at dinner time. Um, we consider that a, a real premium type of experience. Uh, and we have guests that uh, that's what they've known us for for all those years. Uh, we then move on to a new style that we introduced in 2020, which is our guided flux. Um, same type of inclusion, so you're getting these great guides at a local to where you're traveling to, wonderful lodging. Um, you're gonna have fewer meals as a group, breakfast all the time, and a, roughly half the lunches and dinners, similar to the VBT biking group program. Um, and the other will be done independently. In addition, you have a couple of opportunities during the week for independent away from the group experiences. So it's a little bit of uh, the best of both worlds. You're gonna get uh, this great guided trip throughout, but you're gonna have those times where the guides are gonna 
let you do your own thing and uh, really experience that area that you're traveling to in your way for you know maybe a couple of afternoons or maybe a morning and afternoon. Um, personally, I did this style of travel in Ireland, uh, Western Ireland tour um, last year, and I loved it. I loved the fact that um, I really enjoyed dining with my group, but I really enjoyed other times just wandering in these great little small towns we're in and finding a, a nice place, a nice pub to uh, take in some music, some local culture, and um, also explore a few things that maybe all the members of the group didn't, wouldn't want to do. Um, the other great thing about uh, Country Walkers uh, Guided Flex is uh, it does offer a varying price point because it's not as fully inclusive. Um, it's packed with a lot of great memories and experiences, but um, again, taking some of those meals out and some other, uh, maybe a couple other items that you'd find on the full uh, allows, you know, for the price to be a little bit lower. So if you have someone that's really, you know, looking at price, uh, consider flex. Um, and then we have what we've offered for over uh, the last eight years and fast growing segment of our tours is our self-guided, which are independent explorations, very similar to VBT's biking, um, because it is your own traveling party. Uh, these are all done on request, where uh, the self-guided biking is done with set dates. Uh, with Country Walkers self-guided, you would do those um, over a range of dates. They're offered and you request the dates that your clients want, and it goes through that process. So if we look at inclusions for guided, those great local guides, no matter what style on our guided you're taking, flex or full, you're gonna have the wonderful guides that people come back and rave about and, and give as many stars as we're able to offer. Um, and they're gonna handle all the needs and all the expectations of the guests while on tour. Uh, we then go into our great walks. So most of our tours fall into an easy to moderate range. Um, some of them have nuances beyond just a rating of, um, of that. So they're, they're not exactly, uh, uh, they may be rated. A, a lot of people always say go to miles, but um, you could have uh, something else, could be something that related to vertigo issues or whatever it may be. Um, you know, there's more to it than mileage at times, but everyone always wants to know how many miles, and that's five to seven miles per average per day. Um, always done in segments, usually morning and afternoon. And within those segments, there's um, some walking, a good break, so it can be something as simple as a snack stop or as, as um, excellent as some sort of a, a cultural stop, a cooking class, a food experience, uh, any type of experience that we blend into those itineraries, again, each and every day, so that um, guests are constantly learning something new about the area they're traveling to. Uh, we use some great lodging, so the small boutique lodgings, four and five star lodging around. Um, that happens to me. My first hotel I stayed at in Ireland, outside of Killarney, in the picture, and it, just a great hotel, beautiful setting right there, looking at mountains and lake. Um, mention those activities we include, so we get off the path. We're going to participate in all sorts of things. Um, these ladies look like they might be having fun behind the bar, so uh, that looks uh, good to me. And then when we have dining, you're gonna have some great multi-course uh, dining experiences and um, always capturing local flavors of the area. Uh, we are also able to offer just about every special dietary need unless um, again it's something very extreme but you can always check with your tour consultant should someone have uh, some special diet needs and and sometimes it may again if it's something really unique we may have to uh, check a bit with um, some of the dining facilities that we're using on tour 
with self-guided, you're going to get that local support. So the guests will arrive at their destination. They'll have an orientation. Um, they'll let guests know how it's all going to click for them for their itinerary for the week. Uh, it's going to include lodging, some really nice small inns and lodges. Um, I'll just stop there for a minute for a travel agent. Uh, getting access to these type of lodges can be somewhat difficult. Um, often you spend a lot of time, uh, even these days, they ask for faxes or, you know, maybe they're not going to be in for a month or so while it's seasonal. Um, and then you probably are unlikely to get paid or if you got paid, it might be in a foreign currency. So what's really nice is we're going to do all that work for you with one call to us that packages it all together and you're going to get paid commission on the uh, base, you know, the a big part of the package that your client's booking. Um, we provide route notes. they are custom route notes for uh, each traveling party and uh, each traveling party is handled as their own entity. We'll handle all the transfers of guest luggage um, and the guests when needed. Uh, so all they're traveling or all they're walking with each day is really what they're going to use for the day. Guests use a fanny pack, a day pack. Some just clip a little water bottle pouch to them and that's all they need. Um, we always recommend being prepared so we have packing lists that tell them what to bring. Their big luggage is going to be moved along for them so they never have to uh, worry about wheeling that down the road. Um, and then dining on Country Walkers, self-guided. Uh, you're going to get breakfast all the time and then some meals, depending on the itinerary. But keeping in mind that it's very independent, um, we don't want to bog people down by choosing where they're going to eat, when they're going to eat, and, and so forth. So we, uh, we don't go way overboard with those included meals. Um, there are some tours that we definitely want you to try certain places, so they are included. Um, but uh, for the most part, the guests will have a pretty good run over what, what they want to eat and where they want to eat and how much they want to spend to eat and so forth. So for Country Walkers, our map is very similar to VBT. We go uh, pretty far away lands. We do a lot in Europe, uh, US, Canada, South America. Uh, what's really nice in our new tour offerings, we uh, have two new uh, South America offerings, um, which is great. And uh, again, we're hoping that this map is well-traveled in 2021. So we've added uh, Greece, which uh, I've watched presentations on all this from our passionate tour uh, product directors, and these are just great tours. Every one of them leaves with about uh, 80 comments from our staff saying, sign me up, let me go, I'm ready to go. So we're hoping your clients will see this and um, look, look ahead and want to block their spot on these tours. Uh, we go on to Lithuania and Latvia. Ecuador is phenomenal. Uh, Chile, and we're glad to be back in Argentina. We combined the two. We used to offer Argentina uh, standalone um, until a few years ago, and, and we had demand come back. So we've uh, created this great new tour that has Chile and Argentina. And uh, of course, our new self-guided offering in international is Ireland Cliffs of Moher. Uh, domestic, we have, again, a good range of tours starting in New England, heading down to uh, Georgia. We have, of course, our traditional backyard, which is our Vermont fall foliage. We head across and do Utah, Montana, Washington, and our California self-guided. Um, we also uh, are developing a couple of new domestic self-guided tours. So George uh, in South Carolina, our Savannah to Charleston. I was just in Savannah last week and, um, and uh, visited one of the hotels that we're using there, our starting hotel, and uh, it was beautiful beautiful location and Savannah is just a great town to visit. So we think those will go well. Uh, this joins again a very solid lineup of other international tours including Canada, uh, again Europe, we go as far away as New Zealand and, um, and Japan and we're hoping that again 2020 bounces back in a great way. 
So if we're looking at our catalog that just was published, um, we have, uh, again, these three great guided offerings. Those are all full guided, so they're fairly inclusive. You'll see the green tab. Um, again, probably one meal or so will not be included. Uh, the international tours all offer air package options as well. We'll talk about that in a moment. And then we have our self-guided and our new flex-guided Lithuania and Latvia, which uh, again, look like a beautiful tour. And then we look at country walkers in color and uh, we see just wonderful. The big picture in the middle is my guide in Ireland, one of my favorite people that we have in our company. Um, just a lovely lady full of uh, energy and culture and so forth, but a true representative of what our guides are and how your um, guests are going to have a great time like these ladies are having uh, on the side here. And then these beautiful sites that uh, you're walking to, that you're experiencing. And, um, and we hope that it's in living color in 2021. So, now we come to the, the tour cares and the COVID-19 actions. Uh, every company's, of course, uh, never dealt with anything like this, um, ours included. We've had crisis. We've had all kinds of um, other type of events that have taken place, but nothing as um, long going as this has been and nothing as deeply um, challenging as this has been. And we hope that, uh, you know, we're prepared to operate in a safe and healthy manner. Uh, it's what, what our goal is, and that's what we're gonna do. And we'll only do it when we're able to do it safely. So, um, so currently we're not operating tours through uh, the middle part of September. Um, we're hoping to get some domestic tours off, but again, only if they're gonna be a true enjoyable tour and not something that is subpar to what we're used to offering. Um, so we, as we've covered, we've uh, got a lot of nice new 2021 uh, biking and walking offerings. Uh, some great new North America destinations are being developed um, even so. Uh, and then we've got a uh, bit of, uh, again, those cancellations moving right now for 2020. Um, our focus here is 2021, so um, we'll move on. Our, our USA, uh, USTOA uh, tour care guidelines um, cover a lot of different uh, angles. So uh, what I'd really suggest, you can click on uh, on our web pages. We have all the latest updates uh, of tr how we're traveling safe, frequently asked questions. I've pasted what that looks like on the side of the slide. And, um, you know, we're hopefully uh, at some point uh, not going to have to worry as much about the mask. But if we need to work in the mask to make people feel safe and comfortable, then we will do so. Um, and uh, we have procedures all outlined for how that's going to work. Um, we have relaxed our booking policies for uh, deposits and cancels. Uh, we've moved that to 1-15-21. Uh, we'll continue to monitor that. If that needs to be moved again, we will move it. Um, but it, essentially it allows for guests to uh, really have no risk in reserving their spot, which we highly recommend. Um, and then it should plans change or, you know, again, the way the world is not the way they want it to be. Um, they're able to receive their deposit back in full. Uh, so all those policies are listed again on the updates, which sit right at the top of either website's page. And even if you're on our travel agent page, they'll still be up on the header. Um, we've ramped up 2021. Typically catalogs aren't even out for another month. Um, we're happy that they've been developed, de uh, being delivered now, and they're available to be ordered on our website, either digital or print. Um, you could do so. Uh, we have definitely moved to digitalize our materials. Uh, we know that, especially for agents, you may not be sitting in front of your clients anytime soon. Um, with uh, the mail and with just general contact information, uh, 
we think that having our digital catalog, having the ability to um, download these itineraries, suggest them to your clients, send them to your clients uh, electronically is, is the way of now and will probably be the way of the uh, immediate future and probably there beyond. But if you still have clients that rely on and want that traditional printed catalog or you do, you can go on our website and order those. Um, and then one final word here, we know a rebound is coming. We are confident. I think everybody's confident out there, but we're staying true to the core guiding principles of our business as we've done for almost 50 years with BBT and 42 years for Country Walkers. So um, we're not looking to slide out and all of a sudden do something completely off the wall or modify our tours so much that they're not our tours anymore. Um, guest booking our tours know that they're gonna have those core parts of the tour that are not going to change. Yeah, we may have to do things a little different, um, you know, for safety protocol and to make sure everyone's safe and comfortable. But um, other than that, they're going to get these great tours uh, because we're going to make sure that's all in place uh, before we really start uh, operating tours again. So quick note on our air packages, we have uh, those in place for 2021, we've been actively booking. Uh, I will say for a travel agent, you probably experience a very difficult last five, six months with the airlines um, and it's gonna continue. And the airlines have had experienced a terrible last six months. We're happy to help you with this by providing these international air packages. Uh, when schedule changes happen, cancellations happen, et cetera, we're dealing with those, you're not. So really, it's a great advantage. We have a great air team. They're very experienced. Um, a couple of them come from a travel agency background, which is great. And our packages, any tour outside of the U.S. on, on guided, an international air package is available. On VBT self-guided, a package is available on country walkers self-guided we because it's very flexible and independent with the dates um, we offer the opportunity to book air through us but there's no other package components with that um, so you get your international flights your transfers on both ends of those uh, flights you have a pre-night hotel post-night hotel that's part of the standard air package you have breakfast on those nights, and they're independent nights, so you're, there's no organized activities typically. A few exceptions where we have an optional tour, someone can participate. Uh, and then uh, you do have the opportunity on just about every tour to extend these, uh, and you'll extend them either two nights in addition to that already pre-night, uh, and then two nights post in addition to that one night post. Um, and again, those can vary a little bit depending on the tour. Some may be only one night, some may be longer, some may be a little bit more involved. So um, we definitely recommend studying the itinerary yourself and uh, suggesting those because they really make for a great way to round out the package. We're able to do upgrades on business and premium as well. And what's really nice is your clients can book their package. Uh, we'll secure the air when we can. We can book that 11 months ahead. Um, it's locked in there. So they don't need to uh, play the game or, or book now, pay now, wait, something happens. Now they get another credit they have to deal with. Um, use our air packages and uh, you don't have to worry about that. We will take care of it. We don't tick it until much closer to a travel unless it's again some real special request that requires us to take it right away and in that case we review it with you so we have a couple of nice promotions for 2021 we have our vbt goodbye discount so you book your clients by october 29th um, you pay in full using the my account feature through our website by november 12th and they'll get 5% off the total cost of their tour. Um, and there's a few exclusions to that. 
we have for Country Walkers past guests, you have an early booking discount. So they uh, can reserve uh, by December 15th for any tour the following year, and they get an extra 5% off their invoice, and that's combinable with their frequent traveler credits that they earn from going with us previously. So um, our tour consultants can explain more of those to you. Uh, all of those uh, promotional or any discount does get removed from the commissionable amount that we'd pay you, but you're still going to arrive at a very healthy commission selling our tours. And you want to work with us by uh, recommend if you've never worked with us before, definitely call us, email us, talk to us. Um, the online booking is um, something you can do secondary. You can manage the booking. If it's the VBT goodbye discount, you can use that portal to uh, go in and make the payment on behalf of the client. So um, definitely uh, do suggest calling us and, and letting our tour consultants show you a thing or two. And I want to thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, it's been my pleasure to present our 2021 uh, plans and also our uh, new tours that we're offering and some of our other actions that we're taking as we all look forward to what hopefully will be a banner year for our companies. I want to thank you again, and uh, we look forward to working with you very soon. Thank you.